Hey there everyone and welcome to this week's market update. Last week in El Paso County, we saw a total of 143 new homes come to market. We saw 24 price increases. We saw 23 price decreases. We saw 20 homes that came back on market. Those are properties that were under contract that didn't make it all the way to close for one reason or another. And we saw a total of 274 houses that sold and closed out completely. So again, this week we're seeing the numbers for new properties coming to market between the 140 and 160 mark. And to repeat myself like a broken record, this is not quite enough to satisfy the demand that we have in our market right now. We are seeing more activity pick up and as the weather starts getting warmer, we're still expecting to see more homes come to market every single week. But we do still have a little bit of a ways to go to be able to keep up with the market. Also this week we did see less price movements, less increases and less decreases. Again, this probably has a lot to do with the shortage of the inventory that we have right now. Most of the properties that are for sale in our market right now are in multiple bid situations. So there's not a whole lot of need to do price increases because just the demand as is, is driving prices up and up and up from multiple bids. And again, because of the shortage, we're not seeing as many price decreases because sellers are usually able to get their asking price and a lot of times they're able to get it above asking price. We are seeing the amount of sold and closed homes kind of stay right below that 300 mark, which is fairly low for our market. Again, this is caused by the low inventory we have, the low amount of properties that we do have available that can go under contract and that can close. Also this past week, properties were selling for 103.44% of the asking price. That's 3.44% more than asking price on average. And with our median sales price being about $400,000, what that translates to is the typical home in Colorado Springs is gonna sell for about $14,000 more than asking price. Now some are gonna be lower than that, some are gonna be higher than that, but that's where the average are kind of in the middle ground. One of the trends we're starting to see nationwide as an industry is we're seeing a slowdown for how many new mortgage applications are going in every single week. Back in February, there's a very significant decline due one to raising interest rates, because mostly by the adverse weather that we saw across the nation. Back in February, we saw a lot of freezing, a lot of damage that happened to properties, a lot of damage that happened kind of nationwide. And because of that, a lot of people were focusing on getting repairs or focusing on the property, their situation where they're at. So a lot of people who were looking or were about to start looking had to change their plans and kind of slow down for a minute. However, last week, the amount of new mortgage applications that were submitted had kind of leveled off. It had stopped dropping and it hadn't been raising quite as much as we've been seeing over the past couple of months with interest rates falling below 3%. However, with the interest rates right above 3% now, it's still a fantastic rate, still a fantastic deal. But we are seeing less people apply for new mortgage applications. If you have any questions about the information or the numbers I covered, feel free to reach out anytime. You can give me a call, send me a text, or send me a message. That concludes this week's market update, and thank you for watching.